when you're doing basic exponent rules on Delta Math, um, there are a couple different ways that they show you how to do it, two methods. The first method sort of shows you visually what's happening. The second method, it tends to just show you like the shortcut. So it's nice to look at the visual way since you're like, oh, that's how we get to the second method. That's the shortcut. So the example on this one is I've got two to the third times two, right? If you were to expand that with method one, you'd see that we've got two times two times two. Two to the third means you're multiplying it by itself, times itself three times, two times two times two. And then another two shows up to the party and wants to multiply as well. If you wanna draw one here, by all means, go ahead and do that. You have three twos and one two, all going to multiplication party. So in method one, when you expand it, if you wrote it out, you could see that there are four there all together, two to the fourth. Let me even ask you to simplify the answer. Okay. Method two is just like, hey, the shortcut is, instead of just drawing it all out, you remember that you just need to add them up. Three plus one is four, okay? So take a look at method one and make sense of that first. We also have when we take the power of a power. So imagine this, you've got six to the third. So six times six times six, right? They're at the multiplication party. And then you've got four groups of those. So four groups of six times six times six. So how many sixes would that be? Four groups of three is 12. Okay, so if you were to write it out, and again, method one sort of shows that with you saying, all right, six to the third happening four times, whew, those numbers get big fast. That's why when you hear people say things like it grew exponentially or it changed exponentially, that means like things are happening fast. The numbers are getting really big, really fast or really small, really fast. Okay, all together, you can see and count their 12 sixes being multiplied at that party. The second way to do it is just to say, oh, okay, yeah, if I have a group of a group or a power of a power, I just multiply those. That's my shortcut and I get 12. So that's the faster way. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the faster way as long as you can get it right. <clears throat> the last example on this one is when we have um, six threes at the multiplication party and four threes at the multiplication party. And this one, imagine it like an apartment. Now, I'm not going to get into all of my metaphors right now, but when I talk about an apartment, I'll say, imagine that you've got um, six threes upstairs and four of them downstairs. You can cancel them out, okay? Because three divided by three is one. Three divided by three is one. So cancel out as many as you can. And when you're canceling out, essentially, you're just subtracting. So what it looks like is this. Okay, you've got those six upstairs, those three guys downstairs. If you cancel them out, I tend to do it like this when I'm in class. Three divided by three, three divided by three, three divided by three, and you just have two of them left or three to the second power left, okay? Method two, shortcut is just subtract your exponents. If your base matches, if it's the same number on the top and the bottom, you can divide three by three, three by three, and cancel those out. So the shortcut's just to subtract them. And that's it. Those are the three basic rules of exponents.